Secure, Contain, Protect, or SCP. This planet which we call home has been shared by many different species, each within their habitable zone. Some of these anomalies require further study, and the ones we have currently cataloged may be a solid chunk of all the SCPs in the world, but there are still those waiting to be found, still lurking in the abyss of the sea, the dark woods, on the snowy caps of mountains high, or even the air of a dark December sky. This is SCP Undocked. SCP Undocked's mission is to bring awareness to current unknown anomalies that aren't already logged and documented, but clearly exist and unknown of its qualities. This is what we seek to do. On to our first undocked anomaly. SCP-001-A Cephalopoda Titanis Cephalopoda Titanis seems to be the offspring of a particularly aggressive octopus. While doing an underwater survey off the coast of Alaska, scientists and researchers sent an ROV called Persephone down to find new discoveries at the bottom of a dark abyssal zone they'd recently found. As the ROV turned its lights on to get a better view, the dark water suddenly became red. Lots of it. They knew it was blood and turned in the direction it was coming from. There at the bottom of the sea floor was an octopus, a 24 foot long, feeding on a half-eaten shark. Stunned scientists came in for a closer look. Although skittish at first, it came back to finish what was left of its meal. This time they were able to get a better look at the beak. Instead of a two-part beak, it had four, which were splayed further apart, allowing it to take bigger chunks out of its meal. The team made a decision to capture it and do further tests on this species in the onboard lab. They had a netter with half of a shark that was cut up to attract it. Once it was in the net, it was placed into a freshwater tub connected to a container of isofluorane gas to anesthetize the animal, where it went from the normal brownish tan color to gray. It was then transported to the lab where an analyst would examine the creature. The analyst was Dr. Driscoll. He would be taking notes and cataloging what he could. We unfortunately don't know what happened to the octopus, but we know what happened before, and based on the audio you are about to hear, we had to label it as an SCP in the Archon class. Be warned. What you are going to hear is raw audio from that analysis and can be disturbing to some. This audio was retrieved by our team a day after the incident. March 28th, 2024, Doctor's Log. I'm Dr. Driscoll, and I'm here on a mission to catalog new species when possible in order to determine if such creatures may be a threat or safe to let into the environment. I haven't been told much about this one, other than it's something large. Let's open the box, shall we? Wow! Would you look at that? It seems to be a giant octopus, but this one's so... how uh, different. I haven't seen something so unique. It seems to have a four-part beak? What is that? Are those serrations? Why would an animal need serrated teeth? Well, my only guess is to take bigger chunks off flesh. That's ominous. It has no hooks visible. Now that's new. Ah, shit. The hell kind of hooks are those? Huh. They're doubled. Adding to more gripping power, I assume. I can't help but notice how these are all pressure activated. Like a cat and its retractable claws, except these are thick, sharp hooks. Oh man, that's deep. I should probably bandage that one up. Oh, this tentacle seems to be different from the rest of the body. It'll connect to the part of the body they usually belong to. Whoa, 
It extends just about one and a half feet. This is incredible. What the? It's, it's regaining color. Oh god, it's tightening. My color is coming back as we speak. It's waking up. Oh shit, this isn't good. Now it's using its camouflage to flash bright red, back to dark gray, red, and back to dark gray. Seems to be an intimidation display. I think the grip seems to be getting tighter. Okay, hang on. Ah! It's piercing me. I feel it pulling. Oh god. It's climbing. It's not letting go. It's already around my neck. Doctor? Where are you? God, doctor, get the medic, doctor, quick. What happened here? The specimen seems to have woken up and killed Driscoll. I came in here to check on him, but heard no response. That's when I saw him. He's gone. Hmm. Seems his neck has been completely crushed. Are you saying the specimen did this? Looks like it to me. How is this even possible? The crushing force of an octopus is far too little to break his neck. Even a giant one at that wouldn't produce enough power to do this. Lock this place down. On it. One more thing. Let the SCP Foundation know. This is beyond us. I will be taking that. If you enjoyed this story, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more SCP Undocked content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet. See you all in the next video.